guys, we're back. And now it's time to continue on here. And we got a special match. Hold on, let me shut the door here. We have a title. We have our first of two championship matches here tonight. As Bender Rodriguez puts his Buena Vista Street title on the line against six competitors, including two NXTers in real life who will be fighting for the NXT Championship at NXT TakeOver on September 11th. Why that date, I have no clue. For the Buena Vista Street Championship. As he, as, as Ben Rodriguez will take on Carnival Valtenborg, Sami Zayn, Jerry Bell, Adrian Neville, and Charlie Westbecker. If you guys know, remembered, Charlie Westbecker was the very first Mad Tea Party champion who got a rematch, but he failed. And now Adam Holy Cross is the current champion, which is funny because the Electronica Championship will make, yes, the Electronica Championship will make his. We'll go to WWE 2K15 along with the Tea Party Championship. And plus, we I'm possibly contemplating on bringing the Buena Vista Street Championship to a 2, to Next Gen 2, should they have that belt creator on. I'm kind of thinking about that. If you guys want to help me out with that, can you let me know? For my universe mode, can you let me know? Here we go. And here comes Bender. Yep, I made a little hidden TNA reference. Yeah, Bender, he's defending his championship against f five different challengers. This is going to be tough for Bender, but if anyone can do it, Bender can pull this one off. And here comes Jerry Bell. And Jerry Bell, the quarterback, one of my favorite quarterbacks in UAB. The first one that led him to a bowl victory over Hawaii. And he is and he's currently with the Carolina Panthers. Even though we gotta get back to Mountain 13. He could win his first championship here in WWE. And here comes Carnival Valkenborg and his really outrageous entrance. But can you imagine him becoming him becoming a champion here? This is gonna get weird. As Carnival Valkenborg Probably one of our strangest created characters in WWE today. In Carnival Valkenborg, he wants to bring a championship to Germany. Bring that championship. Bring that championship to Germany. Right now. But there's somebody who wants to bring that belt to the real life annex tears. Here comes Adrian Neville. The man that gravity forgot. He is ready to go here tonight. The current NXT champion is ready to go in real life. But here comes 
probably the most popular guy in NXT right now. Sami Zayn, here he comes! Ole, 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 ole! And Sami Zayn, he is ready to go. And he is the tough guy right now. And there is speculation right now that Sami Zayn is going to be in the game. Oh, there we go. I was wondering, did I give him Pyro there? But I guess I did. Yeah, is there anyone missing? We got pretty much everybody. Oh, Charlie, I forgot about him. Woo, woo, woo! Oh, I gave him the Batista. I gave him the Batista Pyro. Here we go. And And Bender has that steel chair. Oh man, he hit, he nailed Carnival. Are you kidding me? And Carnival stopped them. Oh man. And this is getting nutsy. Oh man, he broke that up, but he got hurt in the process. That's Carnival Falcon Borg, and he managed to get out of that one. Uh oh, Jerry Bell! And so far, we all know who's going to win this thing, but Bender for sure. And Jerry Bell wants to end it. And nice break up there by 
by by Bender to, to protect this championship. Wait a minute. It's the bender. The bender. It's over. And Je and Jerry stopped it. And Adrian Neville could be moments away. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh. And the crowd here in, here in New Orleans is loving it. And so far, Bender at this point may be pretty much out right now. And oh, wait a minute. Oh, jeez! There goes the hell in the cell. But wait a minute, wait a minute here, wait a minute! Wait, can we climb it? Oh my god! And Adrian Neville becomes the new Buena Vista Street Champion! The reign of Bender! is over. Buena Vista Street Champion, Adrian Neville! And Carnival Falcon Board, so we may have a triple threat match in the very near future. And we're going to have to confirm that to see when it's going to happen. Will it be on Slam or will it be on the pay-per-view? But Bender's reign as the Buena Vista Street Champion has come to an end. But coming up next is pretty much like a rivalry match, so to speak. We got the World Heavyweight Champion, The Undertaker, and teaming up with John Turkey, taking on Daniel Bryan and Heath Slater, who will be getting his chance to win the Jobber Championship for the second time against John Laurinaitis and Unico. You know, and no, we are not going triple threat. I advertise it as a fatal four-way. Right. And of course, at no, at no way, at one night only, The Undertaker will take on Clem Clodhopper. Let's see if Clem becomes the first member of the Laughing Stock Company, first of the men at least, to win a world title opportunity. So here we go. And here comes the dead man. The man that has went, won 21 straight matches at WrestleMania before unfortunately losing to, to Brock Lesnar. Still be, I know it is still total BS, but life goes on. And here comes John Turkey, who has yet to win his first championship here in WWE. Uh.
Yes! 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 Here comes Deep Ryan! And here comes Heath Slater, and I'm surprised that he didn't have this theme song come back. Of course, Slater, Sl Heath Slater is getting a lot of face heat right now from the crowd. Everyone is chanting, let's go Slater. But now, ever since he got beaten up by the bunny of the Exotic Express, makes me want to... Wait a minute, what the heck? What's, on, what, what's he doing? Oh, we we're going to have a flying goat? And Vince Russo, why are you booking this thing? Who? What? Why? Oh, wait a minute. There we go. As Daniel Bryan got himself disqualified. But coming up next, it's our main event. As Ted DiBiase puts the United States Championship on the line against Rey Mysterio. Is Ted's dream going to continue or will Rey get the United States Championship? And yes, this thing does have a zoom feature. And yes, it works. Thank God. Because that means if anything I want to zoom in, I can, I can actually zoom in now. Thank you. This is for the United States Championship, so let's go. This is going to be good. Booyaka, booyaka, 619. Booyaka, booyaka. So here we go. We got a U.S. title match in our main event here, our main event. So here we go. It's U.S. championship time. Can Ted DiBiase win the championship here tonight? Here we go. Hold on to your hats, because here we go. Let's hope this match doesn't last as the uh, Divas, the mixed tag match we have earlier. Here we go. Okay, what do you have on Ted DiBiase? Well, generally speaking, I like what I've been seeing from him. A few more wins under his belt, and he may be unstoppable. He catches him with the axe. Of course. Of course, Ted DiBiase won the title from John Laurinaitis. He swung wild with that one. Oh, no! Oh! Oh, big elbow. Mysterio. Wait a minute, what's Ted doing? No. Oh no. Are you kidding me? Ted, what are you doing? Ted, what are you doing? He got himself a t he saw what he saw with 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 Ray, he saw he would get him but thought he would beat him, but looks like it will not. And as a result he got himself disqualified to get out of the title. 
Now the next question is, is Ray going to win it? Now we're, there's a possibility here, so we're going to take a look here, and of course if there's any breaky news, I'll bring it to you. So here we go. Let's take a look at the card. We got Dante Jones versus Corey Grace. Finally a new match. We got Cody Rhodes versus Christian. We got Champion versus Champion. Karma versus Sal Sally Mae. We got Undertaker versus D. Bryan. And our main event is... Well, at least the main event here makes a lot of sense. But, wait, actually, no one does it. We're going to have to change that. So, thank you guys for watching. See you guys later.